So what what about your children's book? Um, what what are you talking about in your children's book? Uh, what yes, what is it yes. um doing for the children? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Children are my heart. That's my passion. Um, so my children's book series is dealing with those tough topics. Mm-hmm. You know, we're always talking about mental health, but what about our babies? They go Mm -hmm. to school every day. God knows what they see, what they experience, and how they feel. So uh, to name some of the uh, name of the books, the first one, Who Was My Father? How many children don't know who their father is? Moms, Mm -hmm. it's time for you to let your baby know who their daddy is. Now you decide what age that is, but don't keep putting them off. They need to know, where did they come from? (laughs) Loss of identity. You know, they don't know. Mm. Who is my mother? That's another one. All right. Where is she? Feeling unloved. Children unloved and unwanted. They're searching for answers. Who's giving them the answers? The gang member? The pimp, you know, looking for love in all the wrong places. What we do today, just sit them in front of the TV, in front of the electronics, in front of the computer, the phone. They are searching for love. Mm-hmm. Home alone. That's another one. How many children are left home alone by themselves and prime opportunity for the enemy to come on in? Mm-hmm. Home alone. Watch your babies. I am special. All right. All little girls need to know that they are special. And then when Slick Rick come up, she can tell him, I already know I'm special. We've got to build confidence in our children. So I have a, I am special and I am special too. One for girls, one for boys. Why are our children angry? <laughs> You know, they're in school lashing out, misbehaving, want to curse them out and beat them. No. Why are they angry? Mm-hmm. Don't want to take the time just to have a conversation, a heart to heart with your baby. Oh, why, daddy, why? Molestation. I am telling you, these books are dealing with heavy topics that no one wants to talk about. Our children need help. So these Mm. books are for uh, school counselors, social workers, nonprofit organizations, churches. They're loaded with scriptures. I take you through a story. I I have scriptures in the back. Some of them have prayers in the back. Um, Leave me alone. One is about bullying. Uh, one is about why am I here? Suicide. Why are children killing themselves? Why do they feel hopeless? Like there's no reason to live. And then I have one called God loves me. They need to know that they're loved. Mm -hmm. Some parents don't even tell their children, I love you. So they go looking for love in all the wrong places and end up in situations that they shouldn't be in. Some of them can't get out. Some of them don't make it out. So my children's book series, that's my heart. Mm. <laughs> I got books to these babies. <laughs> so the bottom line is expose it. Whatever the baby's <laughs> problem is, expose it <laughs> so they can be free. <laughs> yes, Lord. I can feel the passion as you was just talking about each of the books. Um, And I can also see that your books will be in the libraries, in some schools, because it is so needed. It is so needed. Um, They got all other types of books. But (laughs) this book right here is going to be, this series is going to be major because somebody is going to grab a hold to it and be like, ah, this is going into our library. It is so, so needed. And And when you was, yeah. Go ahead. And you will see. Oh, so when you talk color about, the, they will see our color in the book. All right, they will see mm-hmm. themselves in the book. 
<laughs> mm-hmm. And that is so <laughs> that is so needed. But the first book you was talking about, um, who was my, who was father? my father? Yeah, I um, saw you. <laughs> So I just met my sister not too long. Well, yeah, last year in August. And um, I had the relationship with my father. So that has been a question that she will ask her mother. Mm -hmm. And so I'm like, um, as soon as you said who was my father, I, I thought about her. And I'm just like, I told her, <laughs> I'm telling her her sugar is going high to this morning. I mean, tonight. So I'm telling her to drink some water, drink some water. But I know she's listening. And so um, I just thought about her. That book probably would have been perfect. It still probably can be perfect for her yeah. to read, even as an adult, because you got so many still adults don't yep. know who their father is Absolutely. because of the untruth of a parent the or, mother. you know, yep. Yep. mother so, or father. You're right. Exactly. Tell because it, go, it goes both ways. Tell it the goes, truth. The relationship yeah. didn't work. They chose someone else. But you have this child. They have questions. They want to know where they came from. That's not fair to them. <laughs> yes. And, and she just said, she said, when you mentioned that, she said the way she screamed in her closet. So, <laughs> I, I can hear her screaming from here. <laughs> we in two different cities. And so I know that um, that just hit her because. You know, like I said, we met a year ago and there's still questions, there's still questions. And so God has just um amazing. Um, are you gonna write any more kids? Am I frozen? Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you now. Almost definitely. I okay. have like 32 stories for children, and I just published 10. So I'm taking a break now. All right, I'm taking a break and getting ready to promote the books. And I'll get back at it next year because I have so many stories for the babies. I do. <laughs> that is awesome. So have you thought about doing a conference events for the youth? <sighs> no, I have not. But that may be uh, something that I can do. But on this coming Sunday... I will be uh, launching my first uh, program for children. It's called I Am Special. So it's going to be four weeks. Uh, I'm going to meet with them uh, and we're going to do activities, you know, building them up. Each week, I'm, I'm going to add on and build up to let them know that they are special. So I'm excited about that. So it's that just the beginning. I'm just awesome. getting started. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I see your love for the kids. What's the age range for the, the program? A 7 to 11. Nice. Nice ages. Yes. yes. Ah. So are you going to do it online? Do you have a little facility? Now, I always talk about some little big facility. We speaking big <laughs> in your life. <laughs> it's actually going to be at my church. So some of the uh, children from my church, their parents have signed them up. So I'm just ready to go. <laughs> that is awesome. And what are you, you located in? I am in Rochester, New York. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, so, All right. Yeah, I think you need to write down that you have it. It's a summit. <laughs> okay. 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 All right. All right. Because we all adults, adults and I can see you having a summit and, um, Small beginnings, yep, they're gonna go major and big because of your yes. uniqueness and your yeah, passion. Yeah, it's, everybody it's don't have a passion. They can I can feel well. your passion. I'm just smiling. <laughs> I'm like, this is bigger than me, so yeah. yes, yeah. Ah, yes, our babies yes. need it. Yes, okay. And I know you said you have grandkids. What's your age, the age range for your grandkids? 14 to three. Is it nine of them? Nine. <laughs> <laughs> they they so amazing though. They're so amazing. <laughs> nine. Okay, you say she says, What's the name of the daddy? Who was your father, right? Uh, who was my father? Yes. Yep. And she can she get off of uh, Amazon? 
All of the books are on Amazon, or you can get them uh, from me. Yes. Okay. I yes, prefer to always go to the direct contact person. So we'll make sure she gets your information so she can get it directly from you. <laughs> um, so what else would you like to share with the guests? Um, leave them some encouragement, you know? Yes, yes, yes. Um, so I do want to talk about the fear factor for a little bit. Mm -hmm. Um, you have to come to a point in your life that enough is enough. <laughs> I mean, step past the fear. So what is the opposite of faith? Fear. Take a leap of faith for yourself. Don't worry about what anyone is going to say about you. How are they going to look at you, feel about you? Because your healing is for you. Mm -hmm. it's not for anyone else and freedom is available for you it is time to expose the enemy and stop running around and hiding because that's where he wants us to be he wants us to stay quiet he really does mm -hmm. he wants us to stay quiet and i said that family secrets lead to generational curses it's time to start telling our children the truth about what was our family in. My family, there's molestation in my family, alcoholism in my family, drug addiction in my family. Did I share this with my children? I most certainly did. Now they know what to look out for. So your child comes home and you're wondering why they're acting like this. Why are they in the, this lifestyle? Because there's an open door somewhere in the bloodline. No <laughs> one wants to reveal it, expose it, put it into it, and kick the enemy out of your bloodline. Don't let him run rampant in your bloodline. I have something else I would like to share. Now, as this little girl, I had another encounter, okay? Nine years old. So there's this 14 year old girl, right? It's a hot summer day. <laughs> she pulls me on the side of the house and she puts her hand in my underwear. I didn't tell anyone, but I stayed away from her. You know, I thank God that as that little girl, I knew that something was wrong with that. And I stayed away from her. I can remember being an outgoing little girl, but after these incidences and being bullied, I became an introvert. You know, don't want to be bothered with anybody. I just stayed to myself, didn't speak up for myself. So I just want to drop some questions. I have some questions in my book, Expose It, for people who choose an alternative lifestyle. To choose an alternative lifestyle means you're leaving the original lifestyle. Mm. Your choice. Everyone has a choice to live as they please. But my question, why did you choose the lifestyle you are now living? Was it really your choice? What happened to you? Did someone touch you somewhere and you liked it? Were you tricked into it? Were you violated in some way? Are you protecting someone? Did you witness abuse from the opposite sex? So therefore you choose to go the other way. Did you have to sacrifice your body to get money, position or status? Did you feel uncomfortable being who God created you to be? Why are you uncomfortable being who God created you to be? Were you forced into the lifestyle? Are you truly happy with your decisions? If you are, God bless you. Or have you dealt with the trauma of your past? If you are at peace with your decision, 
then what I have to say shouldn't matter to you in one way or another. If you are not at peace in your heart, I challenge you to ask yourself a question seriously. Why did I really choose this life of being drawn to the opposite sex instead of the original of being married to the opposite sex? If you go back and take an honest look at what happened in your life in the past, there is just maybe the possibility that you were hurt somewhere down the line or violated by someone. Ooh, think about those questions. There are so many hurting people in this world. Mm-hmm that have been traumatized, violated. And then we have families that are harboring sexual predators and no one speaks up. But we are to expose the works of the enemy and come into the light so that we can be free and made whole. Inserts from my book. I don't even know what to say because that was so Please. deep. <laughs> Please. Lord, we thank you. Oh, my goodness. And even as you were reading, asking the questions, many going to feel so comfortable to come to you and share their truth, their testimony. Um, because so many people, they... Um, still walking in shame, embarrassment, just don't know. Yeah. But yeah. your voice is connected to so many and you can just feel the love. It's, it's no judgment or anything because you got so many people that judge others for yeah. their choices that they're making. But uh, yeah. we're missing the, the fact that the heart of the father, he loves all of us. You know, he yes. loves all of us. Um, he gives us a choice. He gives yes. us a choice. Yes, now, he does. Of course, he would spank us and all that stuff. But yeah. <laughs> at the end of the day, <laughs> he he um he had draw those back who he has called. He would draw yes. those back. Yes. Um, but it, he needs people like you who want to expose it and ask those questions. Mm. To ask those questions, man. I'm just um. I'm over here smiling. I'm like, Jesus ain't nothing else to say because you are the first woman to come on the program to mention this. And it just blessed oh, wow. my whole heart. <laughs> and even when you talk, talking about um, the bloodline, I am um, I have a mentor and she's teaching me, walking me through the bloodline and the cleansing. I mean, it's just so deep. The things that is being exposed and it takes some time. It actually mm -hmm. takes some time. It's not no quick overnight thing because as you begin to look at certain things and characteristics from not just your father, mm -hmm. but you got to go back almost 400 plus years. And if we didn't know them, only way it's going to be exposed through Holy Spirit. Yeah. Right. And yep. so a lot of, I know for me, I'm like, what is wrong with me? Why am I this way? Da, 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 da. But mm -hmm. as I'm reading the material mm -hmm. that, that too many people don't talk about, it's, it's not time for me to talk you know, talk about it. Just yeah, yeah. Because he, he's still teaching. You, they about to be free. They about to be working free. And so, even with your book, um, you can feel your heart. That's all I can say. You can feel mm -hmm. your heart. You can feel your heart. So, most definitely. I'm going to be getting in the book. Um, I'm most definitely going to reach out to you uh, to because I'm going to sign copy. And <laughs> get my sister to uh, who's who's my who's my father book. Most definitely gonna get her that. And um, it was another one that you was um, I'm special. Um, mm -hmm. I want to get that as well for my daughter, regardless of her age. It is still <laughs> right. something in that book that she needs to read. So yeah. um, ah, it's a blessing. Please tell the people how that they can reach out to you, how they connect with you. Um, about if you have your website so that they can chime in, check out your programs um, as the Lord is leading. 
people are in need and most of them are quiet, but your voice, when I hear your voice, you are drawn, many are drawn to you yeah. and you are drawn to them. So you're going to know, you're going to know who is for you and who is not for you and recommend yeah. them like, nope, I got to recommend you to somebody else. You, you know who to take on and who not to take on. I just yeah. feel that just like the realest. Right. It's like, I'm not going to waste your time. Most definitely ain't going to waste my time because if you ain't ready, I can't do nothing for you. Right. Right. <laughs> plain and simple. It is, is that. Right. Period. Right. That, that, that. <laughs> right. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, to connect with me, I am on Facebook under Ivy Caldwell or my Facebook page is called Stepping Into a New You. Mm. Stepping Into a New You. Uh, IG, Stepping Into a New You. YouTube stepping into a new you. Um, I do have a, a, a collaboration coming out uh, January, the top of the year. I'll be starting on a new collaboration called Transitioning to the Other Side, How to Cope with Loss. Mm. <sighs> you know, we've all dealt with loss <laughs> since the pandemic in one way or another. Uh, I lost my mom in 2021. 32 days, she was gone. Um, she was sick. She came to stay with me. I became her caregiver. And every sense of the word and the woman that I once knew that was just always on the go, like, my God, she was just declining, declining. And 32 days, she was gone. So in 2021, uh, you know, wrote that book with some other women who had lost their moms as well and other family members. Um, let your family members know your wishes, okay, before you leave here. So they are not arguing and bickering. Let them know your wishes, all right? Get that DNR done. Who's going to be in charge? So the book has lots of um, do's and don'ts in it to help you out if you are going through that uh, transition, what to do and what not to do. Uh, what else I got going on? I think that's it for now. <laughs> ready to take a rest, you know, the, the end of the year, winding down. My website is Footprint Enterprises LLC.com. If you would like to get an autographed copy of any of my books, and I put a little note in there for you as well and ship it right on out to you. If you want to get bulk copies of my book, you can go to Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> Bless a group of children. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, 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 absolutely yes. love it. Oh my god! Even when you were just talking about the last book, grief, book. I'm just like, <sighs> yeah, that, that too. Christmas, yes. Everybody get books. You need to read. <laughs> Ah, the um the grief book is gonna be amazing. It's going to be amazing. Ah, there's so much in you. Wait, you do have a talk show host, right? Are you still doing that? Oh yeah, I got a TV show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> TV show. Let me put. Let me see. I need to put something in the chat for you, maybe, or let's see. I could put it in. All right, let me put my website in here for you. Footprint Enterprise LLC. And you That's said the grief website. book will be out in January, right? Actually, volume three is going to be starting in January. Volume one and two is already out if you're interested in that. Rethink TV Life is the website for the TV show. Rethink TV Life. Yes. My TV show comes on Monday nights at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Okay. I have people on my show that have been through some of the worst things possible, and they are now on the other side of it. So I am oh bringing uh, hope to the hurting so that they can heal. <laughs> And that's how it should be. Absolutely love it. I love it. Ah, this has been a true, true, true blessing. A true blessing. Um, even when I was reading your your bio, I'm, I, I 
Jesus. I hate you. Thank you, Lord. And so he uses you in many, many ways. Um, your smile alone, your smile alone, and just your your tone and your passion for the people. So I'm just so grateful for your yes to come on the show tonight. And I'm just looking forward to what the Lord is doing in your life because I'm be waiting for that kid summit because I'm be one of them kids that's out there in the audience. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> and so most definitely I'm going to get these books. So listen, everybody, thank you for coming in and joining all those who are watching from the TV land, YouTube, Facebook, on the radio, wherever you're listening from. It has been a great pleasure to have our wonderful guest to share some tips and some tools. Listen, you can't go wrong. You got to expose it. You got to do the work and know it takes a process. It's a process. So don't get discouraged. Don't give up. Yes. Just keep on pushing. Pick up, yes. pick up where you fall, pick right up and mm. know that the Lord he is your redeemer. He is your healer. He is the one to help you. But yes. we have to most definitely do the work. Any last words you want to say to the audience? Uh -huh. Expose your truth so you can be free. <laughs>